quite appetizing dishes, right? Well, this dishes becomes more delicious with the addition of one special ingredient that is the table salt. Chemically, we call this table salt as sodium chloride. That is the combination of sodium atom and the chlorine atom. If we look, this is a metal that is sodium whose atomic number is 11. So it has 11 protons with 12 neutrons present in the nucleus of its atom. Whereas the 11 electrons, they revolve around the nucleus of the atom in the respective orbits. Whereas the chlorine is a non-metal whose atomic number is 17. It has 17 protons and 18 neutrons present in the nucleus of this atom. Surrounded by the 17 electrons, those are revolving around the nucleus in their respective orbits. As you see, you don't find any charges upon these two atoms. Hence, these atoms are called electrically neutral in nature. Although these atoms are electrically neutral in nature, they are not at all satisfied. This is because we know that all the elements except the noble gases, they want not stable. So in order to attain the stability, they attain the electronic arrangement of an inert gas. That is, either to have octet or duplet in its outermost cell. If we look at the sodium atom, whose atomic number is 11, the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. It has one extra electron in its outermost cell. So, this particular atom will lose one electron and attain the noble gas configuration of neon. That is, whose electronic configuration is 2, 8. Whereas, this chlorine atom, whose atomic number is 17, and the electronic configuration is 2, 8, and 7. If we look, this chlorine has 7 valence electrons. So, in order to attain the stable configuration, it has to gain one electron of the sodium atom and attains the nearest noble gas configuration that is of argon, whose electronic configuration is 2, 8, 8. So, if you look at these atoms now, the sodium atom, after losing the electron, now it has 11 protons and 10 electrons. So, as you see, it has one deficiency of electron. So, it is having the charge of proton that is positive. Hence, it is a cation. So, now we can represent the sodium atom as Na+. Whereas, this chlorine atom upon gaining one electron, it has now 17 protons and 18 electrons. As it has one extra electron, so it attains the charge of this electron that is negative. And hence, this is becomes your anion. As we see, a force of attraction is generated between these two opposite charged ions. And as the attraction is generated between the ions, so eventually that attraction leads to the formation of a bond between these two ions and that is what we call it as ionic bond and this ionic bond eventually leads to the formation of a ionic compounds. So, we can define the ionic compounds as the chemical compounds that are formed as a result of the transfer of electrons from one atom of an element that is a metal, to one atom of another element that is a non-metal. Well, if you look at this picture, you see here sodium atom 
upon losing a electron it attained the positive charge and the chlorine atom upon gaining one electron it attained the negative charge right as you see a force of attraction is that between two oppositely charged ions that leads to the formation of a bond between these two atoms that is why we call it as ionic bond as because of this bond formed between these two ions so that generated this electrostatic force of attraction between these two atoms so we also call that as electrovalent bond so hence it is clear that the sodium chloride has ionic bond in between them and that is what the table salt we call in general is makes most of our dishes so delicious and appetizing